Building your home page using shortcodes and banners. Shortcodes can be very useful creating specific pages or posts to promote your items. Here I will show you how we're going to spice up our home page with these shortcodes. As you can see right now our home page is very plain and we only have our category images on our left followed by a product and a product slider. For this I also added a few more products to our store. In this video I want to organize this page so it's easier to navigate and it displays our products better. The first thing I want to do is I want to create a banner at the top followed by our sales items and our men's apparels and polos underneath our sales items. First what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our home page. If we remember we created our page in home right here. We'll click on home and I already have a banner created. I'm just going to go ahead and show you really quick how it looks in the back end. So I clicked on revolution slider. I created a new banner that says home. I'm going to go ahead to edit slides and I just created a very generic banner. Also I recommend if you are using Revolution Slider it's super easy to create dynamic banners that really sell your products well. So here's the slider that I already created. We're going to add this to the home page. So first let's add the slider to our home page. In my theme options I have the option to add the slider here. So slider type we're going to click on Revolution and then we're going to select the home slider. There's also an option if you do not have this in your theme, you could insert short codes as seen right here with the brackets rev slider home and we can enter that right at the top of the page here. But right now our slider is added through the fusion options here. So I'm going to get rid of these items right here and in the full width container I'm going to select builder elements and we're going to drag and drop this woo short codes in here. So let's go ahead and click edit. Now I remember telling you about these options earlier. We're going to do recent products. The short code right here inside of these brackets can be universal for any store that has WooCommerce installed in it. The recent products per page, this is how many you want to display on your page. The number of columns you want on your page, which would be divided by 1, 2, 3, or 4. We're going to change this to 4 so we can only display 4 products, one in each column. We'll click Save. Next I wanted to display some of the polos that we have in our store. So we're actually going to duplicate this carousel and the single product right here. For the carousel I want these to list our polos in our store. So if we go to our products, open this in a new window, We will have our polos in the category apparel men polos. So let's go ahead and add that to here. Categories is going to be polos as we see right here. Number of products. We'll bring this down to four. We'll click save. And for this let's say that we wanted to display an outlier photo right here. We can do that as well. Add to cart skew. We're going to go ahead and add our button down right there, which the ID is 78. That can be found right here by highlighting over the product. Let's go ahead and add 78. And then for here, what I wanted to do is add another men's apparel. We'll go ahead and add men's shorts right here. And then we're going to change this to three. And we'll add one more product on the outside. Let's go ahead and add that other button down which is 76. Enter in 76, click save. Now with all these shortcodes developed right here our home page should start to look different now. We can always add text and other variables to our page as well. I'll show you how to do that in a second. First let's go ahead and click update and we'll check out our new home page. Alright, see that we have our banner at the top 
followed by our sales items. It looks like those previous items didn't come through with the uh, add to cart button. That's okay, we can change those easily. But right now, I'm just trying to show you how easy it is to reconfigure your front page of your store to make it really organized and well laid out. Before we finish up here, let's go ahead and do a couple things beforehand. Add some quick text here, and we'll fix these images and these items right here. So first, let's go ahead and add some text to this page. For right here, we're going to add some text that says New Arrivals. We'll add a title right here. Put that in here, and this will say New Arrivals. We'll click Save, and then these were our men's polos. Go ahead and add a title right there. We'll change this to the right alignment. We'll click Save. And then let's edit these. Instead of picture sizes being fixed where they're cropped, let's change this to Auto. We'll go ahead and do the same thing for the shorts here. We'll change these to Auto. And then for these, let's go ahead and add the SKU here. This will better define the product that we're trying to pull. So 78, the SKU is 1007. Let's enter that in really quick. 1007. We'll click Save. And we'll do the same for this one. 76 is 1006. So we'll go ahead and add the SKU of 1006 to here. We'll click Save. Let's go ahead and hit Update. And let's check out our new home page. Let's click Refresh. And as you can see right here, our new arrivals with our title right here. And it looks like our products are still not pulling right from there. That's okay, we can always fix that. A quick little fix we can do right now is we can actually just get rid of these. Bump these products up to five. Well, we only have four in the category, so it actually won't display all of them. And shorts as three. If we actually added another category to here, it would display all of the apparel. So we'll bump this up to five. We'll click Save. And let's actually move these out of the three quarter into their own. So this three quarters box right here, this is restricting it to only three quarters of the page. We'll go ahead and delete both of those. And we'll change this to men's apparel. We'll click Save, and let's hit Update and Refresh one more time. Should have a cleaner look right now on our front page. All right, as we see right now, we do have a little bit of a cleaner look. Although it's not pulling all of the data here, it's actually centering this with the CSS settings, but that's okay. The point of this video is to show you how easy it really is to set up your store. You can also be creative, and don't worry about getting ready to get ready. What I mean by that is most people take their time setting up initial items. These options are so easy to change, you can do it on the fly. So don't worry if it doesn't look just right right now. That's okay. You can always change things on the fly and add more things to your store. For more e-commerce resources, including guides, tutorials, and walkthroughs, visit actionecommerce.com. That's actionecommerce.com.